So let's get started. Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with lecture number 33, right? But before starting today's lecture, let me take you through lecture number 32 so that we can have a quick revision, okay? So in previous lecture, we have started with Mill on Liberty. We have seen basic premise like what was his problem with tyrannical government or tyrannical legislature, right? Which was the end of the concept of Bentham utilitarianism that is greatest happiness of greatest number number so the tyrannical legislature was basically kind of posing the danger to which individual liberty was exposed right and these were some of the problems which led mill to propound his idea on what on the liberty right so let's see so these were some of the thought coming where mill propounded the idea that the will of the country was basically the product or emanating from the class interest of the ascending class or the class who were basically in the power then we have seen the first area which was the two major area where mill has sought liberty and the first first area was freedom of thought and expression right and the second area is basically the second area that today we are going to discuss is basically the freedom of action right freedom of action is the second major area where mill has propounded the idea of liberty okay but before looking at today's concept let us first come to this question which will say critically examine the mill concept of liberty we will try attempting this particular question in greater detail but to attempt questions like this we have to know the concept of mill on liberty in its entirety then only we will be able to critically examine any question okay so with this let's get started with the second major area of mill on liberty okay so the second major area was basically freedom of action so in order to elicit his idea of freedom of action mill has basically given the harm principle okay we will see what the harm principle is but just to give you a basic idea the harm principle is basically mill has divided the human action into two parts right the first was basically the self regarding action the first was basically the self regarding action self regarding action and second was the other regarding action other regarding action and jo self regarding action hai usme mill ne kaha ki isme individual ko complete liberty milni chahiye because self regarding action is somewhere concerned only with the one self it has nothing to do with the others or the community whereas others regarding action when it comes to others regarding action it is something which has to deal with the society at large and hence the one action when it comes to others regarding action will have either positive or negative influence on the society or community so state should intervene here in order to regulate the actions which are under the other regarding action right so this is the basic premise which mill will try to propound so let's see according to mill self regarding actions are that actions which are concerned to self and has no effect to the community right so what are some of the examples right the cloth that we wear the cloth that we wear how we dress right this is something which is have a personal influence this has nothing to do with the society or community at large right the language the language we choose to speak right so these are some of the self regarding action where others do not have any intervention or interference neither it will influence the society so here which are concerned to the self or has no effect to the community is basically regarded as a self regarding action by mill he advocated for complete freedom in the case of self regarding action here mill is advocating complete freedom right complete freedom when it comes to self regarding action mill was of the opinion that so far as individual action concerning his own self were concerned and which did not prejudice his action about others to that extent he was free and there were no limitations on him this is the basic idea right till the extent the individual action individual action right like eating eating talking talking engaging in any leisure etc does not influence or does not prejudice prejudice the community at large so up till this extent individual will have complete freedom right and there will be no limitation on him by the state so this is what was the idea when it comes to self regarding action self regarding action by mill right now let's see the others regarding action okay so when it comes to other regarding action 
male has propounded in the case of other regarding action that is matter which do affect the others or community he was bounded by certain limitation so few of our acts few of our acts right which have which have affect which does affect the community or society their individual must be bounded with certain limitation or state interference this is the idea when it comes to others regarding action what is other regarding action other regarding action is basically the action which affects the community which affects the society right which affects the community or which affects the society is basically others regarding action when it comes to milk okay mill considered mill considered the right of the community to coerce the individual if his conduct is prejudicial to its welfare right so let's say if someone's action if someone's action is kind of leading to any prejudice in the society any prejudice in the society in the society here a state will have to coerce the individual right what is the example the best example is anti nationalism right anti nationalism let's say if anyone in our country if anyone in our country is kind of propagating the idea of anti nationalism what it will lead to though despite the sentiment that is anti nationalism let it be his own personal opinion wo ek ka khud ka opinion ho but if he is talking to someone in this way it is kind of having a prejudice in the society it is kind of having a negative impact in the society and here here the mill is giving complete freedom to the community to coerce the individual if his conduct is prejudicial to its welfare right so this is the idea when it comes to others regarding action mill supported the rational interference by state or authority in case of others regarding action here mill is supporting rational interference by state okay what is rational interference a rational interference is basically the just interference right just interference just interference or proportional interference proportional interference where the interference should be juxtaposition or proportional to the action which is affecting the society or community at large so this is the basic idea of mill when it comes to self regarding action and others regarding action just to give you a basic idea mill ne apne harm principle ko right when it comes to freedom of liberty or right to liberty right mill has propounded harm principle harm principle right so whenever any questions related to harm principle is asked just get to the idea of freedom or liberty of action right liberty of action this is mills idea that is liberty of action to prove his idea of liberty of action he has given harm principle what is harm principle so basically harm principle may mill ne actions ko do part mein divide kiya the first part was basically the self regarding action self regarding action and the second was basically others regarding action right what is self regarding action self regarding action wo action hota hai jo sirf individual ko affect kare जो सिर्फ इंडिविजुअल को अफेक्ट करे इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द सोसाइटी राइट लाइक जो हम खाना खाते हैं दिस हैज नथिंग टू डू विद सोसाइटी वो हम खुद के लिए खाते हैं जो हम सोते हैं दिस हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द सोसाइटी वो हम खुद के लिए करते हैं जो हम लीजर में अपने आप को एंगेज करते हैं हम स्पोर्ट्स खेलते हैं वो हम खुद के लिए करते हैं उसकी सोसाइटी से कोई लेना देना नहीं है बट देर आर ऑल्सो सटन एक्शन विच इज नोन एज अदर्स रिगार्डिंग एक्शन it has either positive or negative effect on the society right for example what opinion we have about certain certain national things right let's say anti nationalism or nationalism it has certain effect on the society right or how we practice or how we how we act in certain manner when we are in certain society this has either negative or positive effect in the society let's say i am amidst a group of people i am in the society and despite me being a individual opinion opinionated individual if i stand here and if i speak something against my country right it will have kind of negative influence on the people who are surrounding me right who are standing by me and that is why this will influence either positive or negative to the people who are around me and in this cases mill ne kaha yahan pe state ko rational interference karne ka ijazat hai usse permission hai state have right 
to the rational interference if the if the action of the individual is having a effect or influence in the society so this is the basic idea behind the harm principle very simple and very easy to understand okay so let's see this is the statement which is being propounded or which is being uh, uh, given by the mill himself he says that the sole purpose for which mankind is warranted to interfere in the life of the others okay in life of other person the sole purpose okay for which mankind mankind in a sense community or or society or state is warranted to interfere in the life of others is to prevent harm to others okay state sirf unhi kamon mein interference kar sakta hai unhi actions mein interference kar sakta hai jo society ko harm kare jo society ko harm kare ya others ko harm kare right others ko harm kare aisa koi bhi action by individual which is harming the others in this cases state has the solemn right to interfere in human action right self harm is not basis to interfere over himself and over his body man is sovereign right so here mill himself is saying that when it comes to when it comes to himself over his body man is sovereign right when it comes to individual body individual life man is sovereign entity and hence no one has right to interfere right but when his action is having a influence or harming the other individual in this case the state has right to interfere it is it is his choice right it is his choice this is the idea of harm principle which is being given by whom the mill okay now let's see some of the criticism some of the criticism and when we talk about criticism the idea of ernest bauer who was a positive liberal who basically supports the state presence in the society in order to promote general welfare of the people right the positive liberal he criticizes mill by saying that mill is a champion of empty liberty right though he have talked about the idea of liberty his idea or notion of liberty is very empty in nature what does the term empty mean it is basically khokla which do not hold any significance right so let's see why is he criticizing mill as a champion of empty liberty liberty is not important just for individual but also for state okay he is saying that liberty is not important just for individual but also for state how by propounding the statement that no state becomes great by dwarfing its own people right what does this particular uh, statement means he basically is saying that no state no state will become great right will become great by dwarfing what is dwarfing by taking away right or by reducing by reducing 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 the right of its people the right of its people the great example is what the great example is china right though we know china as a great economy but still we have very pessimistic notion about china being a state why because the chinese do not enjoy liberty there jo chinese log hai wo still wahan pe pressure cooker syndrome chalta hai प्रेशर कुकर सिंड्रोम चलता है वॉट इज प्रेशर कुकर सिंड्रोम प्रेशर कुकर सिंड्रोम यह है कि लोगों को वहां पे इतना दबाया जा रहा है कि वो कभी भी फट सकते हैं एंड वेन एवर दे बस्ट दे विल ब्रिंग रिवॉल्यूशन विद दैम राइट सो दिस इज वाई इट इज फेमसली सेट दैट नो स्टेट बिकम्स ग्रेट बाई डॉर्किंग इट्स ओन पीपल बाई रिड्यूसिंग और बाई टेकिंग अवे द राइट ऑफ इट्स पीपल हाउ एवर मिल रियलाइज हाउ एवर mill realizes need of state intervention to prevent harm to others right as we have already seen he said that state has right to interfere when it comes to others regarding action when it is harming the others right he has given theory to self regarding action and others regarding action that we have seen just now for this ernest barker called him prophet of empty liberty on the following grounds let's see some of the grounds on which or upon which barker is calling him the prophet of empty liberty Barker is a positive liberal so this is a kind of personality personality influence right he is being positive liberal who will completely support the uh, state presence here he is not satisfied with the description of liberty as the absence of state interference right so wherever mill is saying the idea that when it comes to self regarding action state is not have right state does not have right to interfere right right to interfere here barker is completely against it right why he is completely against it 
because he is saying whatever action whatever action individual performs will succinctly will either directly or indirectly will have influence in the community will have influence in the society in society right how let's say there is a man right whatever action he will do it will influence the closer family one right and the action or the reaction of closer family one will have an influence on their proximate friends and family and this is how the action the influence or the impact of action will keep on emanating right this is why he the barker is basically is not satisfied with the description of liberty as the absence of state interference he is saying that negative liberty is indefensible what is indefensible it is basically cannot be protected through argument cannot be protected or proved right it cannot be proved the idea of negative liberty cannot be proved we cannot accept the negative liberty or the complete absence of state we cannot prove it why because if there will be complete absence of state as per positive liberal it will again lead to the state of nature state of nature which is more chaotic more chaotic in nature and according to how the state of nature is war is a state of war of all against all right state of nature is state of war of all of all against all right it is a state of war of all against all so this is why Ernest Barker is basically saying that negative liberty is indefensible. We cannot prove negative liberty to be viable, and hence even Mill is not able to defend it, right? And even Mill is not able to defend it. That's why he has to he has to articulate the idea of what state intervention when it comes to others regarding X and R, right? So as Mill has started with a kind of notion of complete complete liberty that is negative liberty he could not even defend it he could not even protect or prove the idea of negative liberty to his argument and hence he has to inter be inter uh, he has to introduce the idea of positive liberty by propounding the idea that state has right to interfere when it comes to others regarding action he brings arbitrary classification of human action right what does this mean that he bring this was the first ground that positive liberal being his personality that he is pers positive liberal he is not satisfied with the description of liberty right that is ab absence of state he is not kind of satisfied that satisfied with the notion of negative liberty right the second idea is he brings arbitrary classification of human action what was the classification which was made by mill the classification was first self regarding action and other was others regarding action others regarding action right so here barker is saying that how can we classify human action into self regarding action or other regarding action even some self regarding action like the cloth we wear how we dress will have some kind of influence or impact in the society right people will get influenced or affected by the kind of dress that we wear this is human psychology human personality right and on this particular basis he is calling the human classification upon which his entire theory of liberty is built a arbitrary or vague classification so this is the second idea okay or the second ground right so now, now let's see third ground so basically so basically in the name of others regarding action he gives huge scope for state to interfere right so as we have known he have differentiated between this self the self regarding action and others regarding actions right others regarding action and mills propound the idea that state has right to interfere when it comes to others regarding action right but he does not limit the scope right he does not limit the extent to which state has right to interfere and again there will be chances where the state can become tyrannical right state will completely start regulating the others regarding action it will again hamper the liberty of the individual he further brings metaphysical notion of real will when he permits state to intervene in intervene in stopping a person from cross, crossing a bridge which is about to fall right this is kind of metaphysical allegory or uh, or a notion that mill is presenting which is very much vague in nature right where he is saying that here he permits state to intervene 
intervene to stop a person to stop a person who is trying to cross a bridge which is about to fall which is about to fall what does this mean right so basically basically we never know when this particular bridge will fall right and just in order to have that protection in order to have that protective wall to stop individual from crossing this particular bridge which is about to fall here he is giving a huge scope for the state to interfere right so again this particular metaphysical notion is about others regarding action right others regarding action in the sense we never know what kind of influence this other regarding action will have on the society either it will be negative or positive but still he is giving very very huge scope for the state to interfere when it comes to others regarding action right so agar main thoda sa basic idea yahan pe bataun ye to ye hai ki agar मिल ने बोला कि जब अदर्स रिगार्डिंग एक्शन होगा तो स्टेट हैज राइट टू इंटरफेयर राइट बट डिस्पाइट टेलिंग द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस राइट विदाउट टेलिंग द टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस वेयर स्टेट शुड इंटरफेयर राइट वेदर अगर पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट होगा या इन्फ्लुएंस होगा तब भी स्टेट का इंटरफेयर करना किस हद तक लाजमी है राइट दिस इज वाई दिस इज वाई ही इज गिविंग दिस मेटाफिजिकल नोशन दैट he is permitting state to intervene in stopping a person from crossing a bridge which is about to fall which has not yet fallen we never know when it will fall but still he has given that permission to the state to stop a person right what if he crosses the bridge and bridge does not fall what if he does something which have a kind of positive influence right even in that case the state will come and stop that person right so this is something very very vague this is something very very arbitrary right but what is the conclusion we have to draw so though mill could not defend his theory of liberty could not defend his theory of liberty why because liberty in its true sense is kind of propounds the idea of negative liberty where there is a no state intervention he could not defend it right because he brought the notion of positive liberty that is state intervention when it comes to others regarding action he is inconsistent yet we cannot deny mill's contribution towards the concept of liberty right because he has propounded two most important area that is first liberty of thought and expression thought and expression right and liberty of action which are two most important grounds or areas of liberty which was kind of influence or which was contribution of the mill towards the concept of liberty and it is rightly said that if anybody is liberal it is mill in the true sense right so this is how despite seeing the criticism we have to draw a positive conclusion and this is why mill is mill is also venerated as one of the greatest thinker of or the liberal thinkers of his time right so this was the idea of mill on liberty we have seen two idea that is mill uh, two major area that was mill liberty on thought and expression right thought and, ex and expression why does he propounded this idea because he told that it is a product of human consciousness and if state tries to intervene or interfere in this personal or subjective realm there will be no development of knowledge which is very very important right and the second is liberty of action where we have seen his arm principle where he basically classified human action into two parts that is self regarding action and others regarding action others regarding action self regarding action individual will have complete liberty but in state uh, in others regarding action state interference is permitted right but again here we have to critically examine here critically examine means we have to give both positive and negative notion right negative notion what will be the positive and negative notion positive uh, notion is that he is the champion of liberty right we will have to present all this idea his thought on his thought on uh, liberty on thought and expression his thought on liberty on action the harm principle but negative will be he he was inconsistent right he could not defend the idea of negative liberty he was prophet of empty liberty champion of empty liberty by ernest barker and this is how it you, you will kind of attempt this answer holistically and you will conclude the answer in, with in a positive note that despite criticism mill is also considered to be one of the greatest contributor to the liberal school of political philosophy or political thought right and this is how mill is considered as one of the greatest liberal philosopher and uh, this is how it you will do justice to this particular question and after attempting this question you can join this telegram channel and you can share your copies here with me
and I will evaluate the answers and also give you a valuable feedback. With this, thank you so much and thank you for watching the lecture.